Denisa Sports Park for finals day at the Denisa Denmark Open. Our next final of the day is mixed doubles and the number six seeds, Praveen Jordan and Nilati Daiva Osavianti in their sixth World Tour Tournament final, still looking for their first title as a pair, up against the former world number ones, Wang Yi Lu and Huang Dongping. So when we lo look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the mixed doubles, I can tell you uh, that the top four have won 13 of the 19 previous HSBC BWF World Tour events this year. And not only that, the number two, three and four have won 10 of the 11 Super 500 and above tournaments this year. Furthermore, the number three and four have won all of the five Super 1000 and 750 tournaments so far this year. Now, after this week in Denmark, I can tell you that Shen Qi Wei and Wang Yaxiong will remain at number three. If Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dongping win today's final, they'll go up three places to number one. If they lose today's final, they'll only go up two places to number two. Win or lose today's final, Jordan and Octa Vianti will go up two places to number four. But uh, the sufferers of Pua Varanukro and Teira Tanachai, they there was a mistake on their entry and they weren't entered as a pair into this tournament. And the result, they will go down three places to number five. Well, when we look at the mixed doubles uh, draw from quarterfinal stage, we can see that there was three pairs from China and so five different nationalities, six seeds, three in each half of the draw. We should make mention of the pair from Chinese Taipei, Wang Chi Lin and Cheng Qi Ya, who were promoted from the reserve list and became the first doubles pair across all three disciplines to be promoted from the reserve and contest a World Tour semi-final. So a huge congratulations to them. Four pairs from four different nations, that's always a very healthy situation in these international draws. But we are set for the final. The number six seeds, Praveen Jordan and Milati Daiva, Octavianti of Indonesia up against the number two seeds, Wang Lu and Wang Dongping. The number six seeds from Indonesia. This, their fifth final of the year. A sixth final in total as a combination and they have yet to win a title. They're facing from China, world number two, winners of Thailand and the Pan Open, Wang Kilu and Wang Dongping. Wang Kilu and Wang Dongping making their fourth consecutive appearance here at the Denmark Open as a combination. Prior to this year, the best they had done was a quarter-final in 2016, when they lost out to teammates Wu Kai and Wang Yashiong. This their ninth final in only their 12th tournament of the year. They've won five titles already, India, the Badminton Asia Championships, the Australian Open, the Japan Open, and the Thailand Open as well. So this will be the seventh meeting between the two pairs, and all previous meetings have been won by the Chinese combination. And the last three occasions that they've won have all been in finals. The last time they met was the final of the Japan Open 750 event. 42 minutes for 21-17, 21-16, the victory for the Chinese pair. Praveen Jordan, 26 years of age, was ranked as high as two in the world with Debbie Susanto, with whom he reached 12 finals, including the All England of 2016. Of course, the final that he won with Debbie Susanto. Now with his new partner, Melati Diva Octavianti, 24 years of age. 
and they are one place down from their highest rank as a pair. Currently number seven, but as you can see, have been as high as six. That was for seven weeks from the beginning of July earlier this year. Well, in the first round, they beat Ben Lane and Jess Pugh from England. In the second round, went the full distance against Lu Kai and Chen Lu. Quarter-final. What a match that was against the number one seeds, the defending champions and two-time reigning world champions, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. One on their third match point opportunity. Semi-final yesterday against Wang and Cheng from Chinese Taipei was less than 30 minutes. I think we pair promoted from the reserve list were perhaps a little overwhelmed in their semi-final. Wang Yilu will turn 25 next month. Uh, born in Zhejiang, in Xinjiang province. And they spent a total of five weeks across two different spells as world number one, but currently number two, as you can see. Wang Dongping is also 24 years of age, born in Meishan, in Nanan city in Fujian province. And as far as they are concerned, well, they had a walkover in the very first match because Ponapa injured. Uh, then in the second round, pushed the full distance by Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Manuel Wajaya. And then in the quarterfinal, a really tame match against Kerju Ting and Zhu Yue, their teammates. Semi-final was a, a very good encounter against the number five seeds. The two left-handers, Suo Xian Jai and Che Yu Jung. 21-11 in the deciding game. Well, our court officials for this one, very experienced Trish Gubb from New Zealand and Henrik Boas from Denmark. So when we look at the head-to-head -head sport... Yeah, it does look good, does it, for, it, if you're a fan of Indonesia? No. <laughs> no, I, I agree. But... Uh, this partnership from Indonesia, they have a fantastic ability to blow hot and cold. And when they're playing well, they do play so well. Yeah. And quite frankly, if they've beaten the world champions, the top Chinese pair, mm. world number ones in the quarterfinal stage, it shows they can beat anyone. They can. They, they really can. But it's a lot up to Praveen Jordan. Yeah. On my right, Wang Li Yu, Wang Ping. So the number six seeds in their sixth World Tour tournament final together. This final underway, Jordan and Octavianti against the former world number ones, Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dongping. Praveen Jordan. Yeah, he's got an awesome smash. Now, when I was doing my prep late yesterday evening, Morton, I was very surprised, it was Nova Woody Antle, to see that Indonesian pairs had only won two titles here at the Denmark Open. The first was 44 years ago. And the last occasion was 18 years ago. Three Kush Harianto and Emma, Emma Wati. So uh, Natsia and Ahmed have not won it. Liliana Natsia. That was the last pair in the final, which yeah. was four years ago, 2015. That was their fourth consecutive loss in a final. 
Tom Toy Akmad and Liliana Nasir here at the Denmark Open. Okay, that's a surprise that they haven't yeah. won it because yeah. that's a classy pair of any. Absolutely. Oh dear. Nerves are jangling. So you mentioned the Thailand pair. They made a, a wrong entry for this tournament, and I just checked up on it uh, for the French Open next week. And uh, it's right. It's correct. There's no trouble there. Yeah. So it's just this one off. I yeah. don't know how that could happen. Yeah. Entries put in by the national federations. The players aren't allowed to enter themselves. Yeah. Now I said he was powerful. What a smash. What an angle from Praveen Jordan. Just wide. Nervous, isn't she? Yeah, it's yeah. been a nervous start from uh, Octavianti. So, Morton, you were talking yesterday about the Indonesian women's doubles pair, Asan and Setia one. You said not bad for a backup pair. <laughs> and the reason I bring that up is because I think the same of Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ping. Not bad for a backup pair in mixed doubles as far as China is concerned. Yeah, of course. Uh... There's almost a saying that, uh, you know, whatever mixed doubles competition play, just uh, send the trophy to, to China. Because if they haven't got one pair, then it's the other. I, I know that uh, Popa Ranapo and Tyrak Tanachai from uh, Thailand have uh, taken uh, two now. But uh, very, very often it goes either to number one pair or number two pair from China. And to emphasise that point, as I said, when we were looking at the race to one goal standings, the world champions and this Chinese combination have won all five yeah. Super 1000s or 750 events so far this year. Yeah, they won all the, the top ones. Exactly. So, um, so it just shows what kind of strength we're talking about yeah. in, in Chinese mixed doubles. a battle between the Chinese fans in the arena here and the Indonesian fans. Yeah. Plenty of both. <laughs> Great. So that's, that's quite common, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, wherever we go, there's always Indonesians as well. They're celebrating their badminton. They love it. And we love having them because they're very vocal and they create a great atmosphere. Uh, well, this is four straight points. And we see one of the real strengths of Wang Yilu. He is serving extremely well. Oh, oh. look at that. What a shot from Octavianti. Yeah, that's not a bad serve either, is it, from Kevin Jordan? 
Very good. And it's not easy because the, the, the male players are standing so much further back on the court when they're doing these short services or low services, which means that it's even more difficult to do it. Yeah. Oof, my goodness, that was perfect. Yeah. Serve deflected by the net cords. He still chose to play it. Yeah, and I think he was right to. And back level. Four straight points now for the Indonesians. Yeah, and look at the last one. Just try to have a look at the last one here. It's clipping the top of the tape. And that is really good quality by Praveen Jordan. Well, it is the former world number one, Swan Yi Lu and Juan Dong Pink, who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Nova Woodyanto. Two-time world champion Liliana What a shot from Praveen Jordan. Great disguise. But you, you mentioned he's a very, very strong player, physically strong player. And that action is just so short because his power yes. is, is just mm. phenomenal. Mm. So I can understand why Wang Yilu was kind of going forward there because he thought that block shot would come and then just a tiny flick. Yeah. And that's enough what it takes. Back level. Here's a fun fact about the Chinese pair. This is their sixth 750, 750 tournament final in only the eighth ever. 750 event. Sixth final in only the eighth time that we've had a 750 event. Yeah, it shows really, really good consistency. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's out. I look at that again. Yeah. When you saw this going out. I thought I was going yeah. out. And uh, here, the, the weakest point of uh, Wang Yulu was kind of exposed. That deep forehand corner, that is his weakest point when it comes to his game. He's not very good covering that one, and we so often see he's got to throw himself and dive on the court to get them. So if he's really kind of pushed a bit and into that deep forehand corner, he is in trouble.
Oh, 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 oh. Well, both the Indonesian players have made a service error. Drifted wide. And in a blink of an eye, and he's there, back level. It's a good fight between uh, Wang Dongping here at the net with Octavianti. In the beginning, Octavianti was losing quite heavily on it. She has stepped up, and it's now for Dongping to step up even further, I think. Because they need to avoid situations like this, the Chinese. If they're lifting too much for this man here with such a tough and hard smash, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. So it's all about Huang Dongping really trying to gain control of the net. Oh, the shuttle got deflected, bounced off the top of the tape. And that's why Octavianti missed the return. Oh, quite badly deflected, wasn't it? And his coach, Young Ming. That's a great shot from Octavianti. Not only technically played it well, but her precision. But where was the precision? Exactly what you were talking about just a second ago. Deep forehand corner of Wang Yi Lu. Error from Praveen Jordan. Yeah, and on hip, sign that he's annoyed with himself. That could prove costly. We see more. serve, I think, was long, I so the service. <laughs> anyway, I, I agree with you. I, yeah. It was called in, but I am quite sure it was long. Yeah, but it had been called a fault, so that's irrelevant. Yeah, it was totally overruled by that fault. <laughs> Game point opportunities for Jordan that. and Octavianti. Lots of insecurity at the Japanese combination at the moment. They do... You mean Chinese? Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, Chinese, of course. Yeah. They do make a lot of unforced errors. Yes, of course, Chinese. Yeah, and that another sign of either nerves or insecurity.
So the Indonesian pair of Praveen Gordon and the Latin diver Octavianti, one game away from the first ever title as a pair. Oh, oh he's missed it. Can you believe that? That was a very, very nice save by Octavianti there. That, this one here, look at that, how she saved it. But that's a massive mistake done there by Praveen Jordan. That should have been a winner. Had a little think about it, but stayed his side of the court. Mm, that's lovely. I don't think that Huang Dong Ping has really dominated the front of the net she's as she normally does. Yeah, she's not really been allowed to it, and. Uh, all, all due credit to the opponents from uh, Indonesia today. I think they're playing really well already. And Dong Ping, as I said, she's not really into it. No. And she's forced on many occasions to lift and play from a very low position. And they're making life very difficult for Dong Ping. seemed to have his racket arm outstretched and, yeah. and no real sort of movement of the racket head to but that's the strength he's yeah. so powerful but well, try to look up at, again another service error there from Praveen Jordan his third yeah but look at that return of serve again the previous one it was directed towards the deep forehand corner of Wang Yidri A service error, has he? No, I don't think so. No. He is such a steady server. No, it's the second service error for Dong Ping. Yeah. And both the Chinese players looking across to Yang Ming, their coach, as if to say, what on earth should we be doing here? Unfortunate for Octavianti. Once again, there was this deflection on the top of the tape, and she's missing this one. Look at that. Yeah. Behind the back. Uh, 
Uh, at the moment, it really looks like it's uh, Wang Yulu that's got to keep the uh, Chinese pair in contention here. He's got to step up because partner is not doing so well lately. And maybe she will get better in five or ten minutes, I don't know. But at the moment, he's the one that's got to step up. Well, she's got strapping on her shoulder, strapping on, on her right Achilles, and you can just see some strapping. On the knee as well. Well, I think it's on her thigh. Perhaps. Ah, it's good skill. One of the rare occasions that Wang Dong Pink has stood her ground and taken on up to the ante. Yeah, she is playing herself into the match. It's very similar to the uh, opening game. They were mm. also 10-6 down, actually 10-5. No, it was 10-6. 10-6, and then they caught up 10 off. But that's not going to happen here. Yeah, it's a four-point advantage for Wang Lu and Wang Dongping. At the mid-game interval here in the second. Go to the kids' zone right now. You can use it right away. Tungguin aja, arahin. Ya, kamu agak digeser sini soalnya nggak enak. Khususnya, ya agak nyantai pakai bagian nggak apa-apa. Bagian panjangnya aja kalau nggak sama apa cok. Kalau bisa dok, bisa dok. Jangan balik ke cowoknya, cowoknya nungguin terus tuh. Tidak digeser. Ya sekali sekali kencengin nggak apa-apa. Abis itu rem lagi kan. Kenceng kenceng terus tuh. Jangan kena kan. Ya masih dekat itu empat poin. Ya, fokus lagi. Yo. We've had very few long rallies in this match. I think the longest so far was probably 20 shots, wasn't it? Or did we have one a little bit longer? I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I agree with you. It's um, short rallies, yeah, but very powerful, very fast. A look at that backhand. Yeah. Amazing. I'm not even sure if you can call it a backhand smash. Did he have enough of a, a backswing? Oh, yes, he did call it a backhand smash. But as you say, Morton, so physically powerful. Yeah, the, the Chinese combination really have to try to, to move Jordan as much as possible. As we saw here on this return, look at that. That was directed into the deep backhand corner of, of Jordan. And that meant that he had to move. Look at that. He's, he's kind of having to move for it. And that's what the Chinese combination has to do. They have to move him to make sure that he's not standing there and playing his shots. He's yeah. got to be moved as well. And Wang Yilu cannot understand there's someone perhaps even more powerful than himself on the court. <laughs> Yeah. Beaten by sheer pace. So perhaps Wang Yulu should have tried to defend that with the forehand defence. Oh, that is brilliant. What a shot from Praveen Jordan. Superb. 
Just one point in it now. Oh, the service felt was called anyway. Apparently, the fact made a service error. So in your books, what will it go down as? <laughs> service fault. Yes. Just checking. Uh, that's good play by Wang Yilu. Really nice chasing uh, Jordan on the back of the court there. Good play. Look at this cross coming here. That's nicely played. Good play by Wang Yilu here. as well. Trying to get the neck ball back. That's an amazing shot, isn't it? The world will even reach it. <laughs> but look at the smile on his face. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You know, he said, How on earth can he keep being so lucky? <laughs> <laughs> But well, surely it's not luck. But you know, that's that's what you feel when you're standing on the other of side, uh, the opposite side of the court. Yeah. You say, "Oh, how is this happening?" That's another one. <laughs> another neck ball. That's, That's simply <laughs> just died. It's <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Somehow, you know, you just sense that we, we will be treated to a third and final game. Yeah. Because uh, Praveen Jordan can't keep playing these absolute quality shots without making mistakes. And if uh, the Chinese combination just keep it solid and simple, chances are that I think that they will take this uh, second game. But it's close. It's 15, yeah, I'm, 16. Not, I'm not so sure. No, you're not so sure. I'm not so sure. No. This is purely statistics, and you know, sort yeah. of a sense is how I feel it. But uh, let's see. Of course, it's definitely possible for the two Indonesians to win it in uh, two straight games. Oh my goodness! How did he do that? Oh! Yeah. Unbelievable! How oh, Praveen Jordan got that first one, then he plays the second one. Oh, that and was it, extraordinary. And he wanted to play the last one behind the back. <laughs> Try to have a look at the racket, how he's... Uh, he's that's the good cover, but if we then get to see this... See, he, yeah. was, he was about playing it behind the back, if he at all was possible for yeah. him. Yeah, it's a packed arena here. Well, it was last night, wasn't it? To win a game today. Oh, oh now the net board for Huang Dong Ping.
there. Cross score played from Praveen Jordan. That one so flat over the net. Then a lovely little guided shot as well. Rally. There's one in the audience that will have no voice tomorrow, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> Did well there, did Octaviante. Stood her ground. Yeah, in fact, she went forward. That's good play. Eighteen, nineteen. Well, he simply cannot afford a service error here. Nope. Already played three. from one John Pink. Yeah. It was if she had won the match. <laughs> Says it all. Yeah. Lots and lots of pressure. Longest rally so far. And it brings up game point opportunities. Two of them for the number two seeds, Wang Ili and Wang John Pink. to a third and deciding game. Scoreline, the mirror image of the opening game. 21-18, but in favour this time of the number two seeds, Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ping. Yeah, total confusion. Yeah, a bit of misunderstanding. Yeah, Ya, sama posisi kan udah katakan banget jangan sering begini. Jalan dulu nggak apa. Players back on court for this third and deciding game. Oh. Well, you were talking earlier in the week, Morton, about the faster playing conditions, and I think that any playing conditions, these are most suited 
to the Indonesian pair winning a title. Yeah, they uh, they they like these fast holes. Um, yeah. And you can also see in the men's doubles, it's the same thing. The, the, the Indonesian men's doubles do love these kind of conditions. It suits their game and their technique. Yeah. Good serve. That's yeah. dead. Yeah. You know, when it's, it's coming up like that. Yeah. Chances of getting it back is virtually none. But I must say, it takes a lot of uh, mental strength for Jordan and Octavianti to come back after, you know, it's a tight second game. Yeah. They had the chance. They it did not make it. Mm. But that's, still. That's sense. I mean, they won in three games against the world champions, but they dropped the opening game on that yeah. quarter-final match. Yes. So they were on a bit of a momentum. Definitely. It's very different. It's out. But they might be in, on a little roll and momentum here in this deciding game. Four won the advantage. Well, as we're watching this last rally again, I can tell you that Wang Yi Lu, yeah, the umpire telling him to get ready, Wang Yi Lu was in deep conversation with his partner. That's way out. Mm. Oh. Spectacular. What a return. Both of Chinese players left absolutely stranded. But it's, it's very interesting, you know, if I was the Chinese combination. When you look at Octavianti, she's standing so close to the net in order to do these kills at the net. You have to play the shots right behind her back into that mid-court area. I know that you can see Jordan is, is pushing up behind her, but still, she's so close to the net that if you play the net shot, she's got a good chance of killing it. So you've got to play just behind. I, you're absolutely right, but... There is such a little gap just behind her because, as you rightly pointed out, Praveen Jordan and his uh, little half-court pushes today yeah. has been brilliant. He's been so far up the court covering those little half-court pushes. Steepness of shot that time from Jordan. shot from Octavianti is the sort of shot that you think um, Dong Ping should be playing against exactly, her. Exactly. Yeah. Look at this, just enough pace on it to tempt her into trying to play it, but really it had gone past her. Yeah, and then push her away from the net as well. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, once again, such a good smash from Praveen Jordan. Uh, it's, it's not only the power, the uh, the placement here. Yeah. Again, look at that. Good flick serve. Yeah, they don't even bother to challenge that. They know it was a terrific serve. And it is a seven point advantage for Ravine Jordan and the lucky driver Octaviante. Yeah. Here you see the last yeah. one, yes. Plum on the line. Yeah. Well, well, well. Night today is the day. My previous finals, you lose five finals. Unless you start winning a final soon, then it becomes a psychological block. Yeah. But uh, maybe they're finding the form at the right time. Yeah. You know, maybe we will see kind of a new, improved Jordan and Octaviante for the future, for the rest of the campaign here, and perhaps Tokyo 2020. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear, that's ominous, isn't it? Fourth service error from Jordan. And then an error on the return of serve. since the change of ends in this third and deciding gate so far I've gone to this bay. Well left on the serve. And that's the first, I think. First service error. For yeah. Lee. He was faulted earlier, rather challenging. First challenge of this final. Now we have front service nine judges. Yeah, it was a way short. It's a wasted challenge. Because earlier in the tournament, it was the umpire that was calling yeah. the front service nine. And that was not easy. No. But we saw some very, very fine calls. Yeah. Serve. Yeah. Deflected. That's beautiful play. Well, now the Indonesians are going to challenge. Yeah. And there was hesitation from the line judge. Yeah. And that makes the players uncertain. But I think it's in. Let's have a look. Oh, it's out. What a great <laughs> challenge. What are you losing your form? Ah, but look at that. Look <laughs> at that margin we're talking about here. <laughs> Ah, you gave me a stick earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Payback time, young man. Yes. This is a very healthy lead. Seven point advantage. Oh, another great serve.
I get the sense this is far from over yet. Really. <laughs> I agree with you on that. I really agree. Unless uh, Praveen Jordan is playing uh, some of his fantastic shots. It can be really, really close, this one. They looked to be cru cruising, didn't they? And now they look to be stuttering. Yeah. That's a good fight back here by Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping. It's a good attitude. Yeah. Just three points in it now. Yeah, Octavianti forgot to keep her racket up, and that's why it's passing so easily. Yeah, certainly there's a whole host of mistakes there yeah. from, uh, from Praveen Jordan on return of serves. Oh, this is simply amazing. Six straight points. Good shot here from Wang Yulu. And the nerves will be kicking in a big time with the Indonesian combination. Seven straight points from the back level. Well, Octaviante asking if she can go and towel down. The umpire <laughs> saying no, believing that it was a tactical request. It definitely was. Yeah, good umpiring. 14 all. I understand that Octaviante was doing it. Seven points in a row here. Eight points in a row going to the lead. I'm having a flashback to last night and Victor Axelson, who had an eight point advantage. And ended up losing. What on earth has happened? Got to regroup the Indonesians. And that's gone long. Nine straight points. I can hardly believe it. Oh, he was going out. And oh, that's a winner. Yeah. Don Ping playing the defensive shot while lying on the floor. She needed to play because it was going well wide. on the blue carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but a good follow-up here by Wang Gulu. That's excellent awareness. Yeah. Incredible play by the Chinese pair. Brilliant. Ten straight points. That's him. Landed in. That's him. He's gone to pieces, has Praveen Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. He's 
you know that is frozen. Frozen. I was going to use the word petrified, which yeah. is the, the true meaning is yeah. turned to stone. Unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, Martin. Oh, this is just incredible. Yeah, finally, finally, the run of points comes to an end. Got 11 straight points. Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping has put a completely different complexion on this final. It's a real lesson in why you should never, ever give up in a game. I know we've talked at times when players have been so far down that let the second game go concentrate on the next game you can't in a final game <laughs> oh. but no. this has been amazing. there is no next no that's a good play by jordan yeah are we going to see another twist in the tail clever of Octavianzi to leave the last one and then let Jordan hit on the last she could have intercepted yes. it. she could have reached it but the quality of that shot would not have equaled what came from Jordan here yeah completely stepping forward into it so one point in it Point advantage and two points away from the title. For the number two seeds. This is fun, isn't it? This is terrific. Who's going to have the match point opportunity? 19 or... It is Praveen Jordan and Octavianti who have the match point opportunity. And they be thankful that is Octavianti who's serving. She has been serving so well the whole match. 